Imagine how it would be to travel wherever you want without leaving the couch in your home, or how it would be to be inside your favorite games playing as the protagonist, completely free to move and act as you wish. All this and much more is it possible thanks to virtual reality. But do you know how a VR headset works? Like, share, subscribe and ring the bell to stay up to date. You can find me on my Facebook page Advanced VR Fair and use the link in the description to buy your favorite games on instant gaming and using the link you will also support the channel for free. Thank you very much. Virtual reality is an environment simulated by a PC where you can move, manipulate objects and do a great number of actions. Today the developing of new hardware and software, not only games but also softwares developed for for works and business make the modern VR take grip always more and probably within two years it will be something of daily use just like smartphones tablet computers and other electronic devices that at their release was like they had no chance for the future VR headsets are not only for gaming but recently they have been used in many sectors like medicine, buildings, business and commercial purposes. And since when Facebook arrived in VR, the social aspect of these devices was pushed as never before. But how does a VR headset work? How can you move inside a game, reproducing the exact movements that you're doing? To enter inside VR, you need a headset. But know that this is not the only element that you need to exploit the full potential that VR offers. The headset is known as HMD or head mounted display because it's a display that you mount on your head and wherever you turn the visual follow the movement. For some models of headsets like PlayStation VR or Rift S but also Reverb G2, Valve Index and so on is required an additional hardware for example a console for the PlayStation VR or a powerful gaming PC for the other headsets but there are some the, the so-called standalone for which is not necessary to have a PC because everything to make it work is inside the device generally headsets has two display usually LCD one for each eye but there are some cases like the Rift S for example with one display only where the image is split in two for each eye in any case just like a normal monitor the image is reproduced on the display by a console or the PC or the graphic chipset. And know that in case of VR, graphic card must do twice the job because the image is reproduced two times, one for the right eye and one for the left. Because the screen being too much close to the eye, one image must be only for the right eye and the same image must be for the left one, so you can collimate in the correct way. Usually for PC VR headsets, the image is also sent to the PC monitor, but in this case it's not a third reproduction of the image, because what you see on the monitor is nothing but one of the two eye, and usually is the right one. In case of a standalone headset, for example the Quest 2, the image is not created by a graphic card, but by the graphic chipset, which is already inside the headset. Of course, it will have reduced performance if compared to a PC graphic card, since it's a mobile chipset. This means that even if it can offer the same application that you can find in Steam, for example, the experience on the standalone headset will be less detailed to save system resources, essentially. Resolution, refresh rate, uh, field of view are all elements that can change in base of the model. Those we have today offer a resolution up to 8K and refresh rate up to 144 Hz. How can the headset trace the movement of your head and your body? The argument is large and complex, so I'll try to be as simple as possible. VR headsets exploit a system called 6DOF or 6 degrees of freedom that keep trace of your movement in the X, Y and Z axis 
through cameras and base stations. Some headsets use at least two external base stations that track your movement by emitting a laser pulse at very high frequency. And this is so far the best tracking system you can have. And it can track the user's full body. Some other headsets exploit a certain number of cameras mounted directly on the headset that looks outside to track the headset itself but also the controllers in order that tracking for head and hands is made in real time and do not cause discomfort for the user the latency which is the time between your movement and the same movement is reproduced inside the game must be very little and in any cases not over 30 milliseconds there are so many parameters and very complicated calculation for a VR headset to do. Just know that keep trace of itself in base of the distance from the floor, from walls and from ceiling. And so models are also capable to track objects inside the play area. The controllers are your hand inside VR and they works almost all in the same way. That is by emitting infrared pulse, except for some rare cases that exploit little electromagnetic fields or even sonic pulse. How the headset is capable to track the controllers? It's pretty simple and it works just like your TV can track the remote and all the inputs you send it by pressing the keys. The headset, as I said, it has a certain number of cameras that recognize the input from the controllers, tracking them inside the space together with the signal that comes by pressing the buttons. And it reproduces not only the movements of your hands but also the pressure with your fingers and usually you can use your thumb your index and the other three fingers are recognized usually as one input to grab objects all of these calculations allow the headset to keep track of the user's movement who is free to move turn crouch jump and with enough space available, walk around without using the thumbstick on the controllers. VR, within the next two years, should be more powerful and immersive, thanks to the developing of new software that simulate reality always much better, and also thanks to the production of new hardware that with higher resolution and better graphic rendering will allow the users to see the virtual world as the real one. Do you understand now how a VR headset works? It's pretty simple, right? If you want to know more, ask me down in the comments. Like, share, subscribe and ring the bell. From Ben it's all. see you to the next one and see ya in VR. Ciao ragazzi.